When Susan Boyle graced the stage of Britain's Got Talent in 2009, her voice resonated with a visceral and emotive power that took the audience by surprise. What made her performance truly special, however, was the unexpected contrast between her unassuming appearance, a middle-aged woman with grey hair, and the preconceived notions that the audience had about her abilities. She defined expectations with her iconic rendition of I Dreamed a Dream. In that memorable audition, Susan became more than just a contestant on a talent show. She became a symbol of courage. But Susan Boyle's journey to success was marked by a series of challenging incidents, from relentless bullying to health issues that tested her resilience. Join us as we tell you what happened to Susan Boyle. Susan, you've been waiting all day to do that. How did it feel? Fantastic. <laughs> Good girl. Absolutely. For the initial 51 years of her life, Susan held the belief that she had endured brain damage due to a brief lack of oxygen during her birth. But in 2013, medical professionals revealed a different diagnosis. Susan learned she has Asperger's, a type of spectrum disorder. The Scottish singer shared that this diagnosis has provided her with a deeper understanding of herself, shedding light on certain aspects of her behavior and experiences. She expressed a sense of clarity and self-awareness that the diagnosis has brought to her life. She believes that having this understanding of her neurodivergent condition has been instrumental in navigating her personal journey. By learning more about Asperger's syndrome, Susan has gained insights into her own thought processes and behaviors, allowing her to embrace her uniqueness with a newfound perspective. Aside from the inaccurate diagnosis of brain damage, Susan was correctly diagnosed with epilepsy from a young age. In a 2011 interview with the Daily Mail, the Britain's Got Talent sensation revealed that she experienced regular seizures during her school years, providing her childhood bullies with additional ammunition for torment. Susan shared that her mother, unsure of the best way to navigate the condition, tried to protect her by treating her with extreme caution. Susan's struggles with epilepsy were not openly discussed, even with her parents, contributing to a sense of isolation during her school years providing her childhood bullies with additional ammunition for torment. Susan shared that her mother, unsure of the best way to navigate the condition, tried to protect her by treating her with extreme caution. Susan's struggles with epilepsy were not openly discussed, even with her parents, contributing to a sense of isolation during her school years. Fainting episodes were a common occurrence, but she had never spoken about it publicly until that interview. Reflecting on the medical profession's understanding of epilepsy at the time, Susan expressed frustration, noting that there was a lack of awareness about the brain disorder. She believed that the general perception, even in the public eye, was that conditions like epilepsy were associated with mental function. Her openness about this aspect of her life contributes to a broader conversation about health, awareness, and breaking down stigmas associated with neurological conditions. Susan's childhood was marred by persistent bullying, a painful ordeal inflicted not only by her classmates, but also by her teachers. The abuse extended beyond verbal taunts, as Susan disclosed that she was regularly struck with a belt by teachers who lacked understanding of learning disabilities. This harsh treatment, stemming from a lack of comprehension, left a lasting negative impact on her education. Susan attributed her struggles in school to being a slow learner, acknowledging that she needed more time to grasp concepts compared to her classmates. The education system's fast-paced nature resulted in her being frequently left behind. The torment she endured was not limited to the classroom. Susan faced bullying from her peers, making her school years the worst time of her life. For Susan, success became a form of retribution against her tormentors, she saw her achievements, including her success on talent shows, as a powerful way to reclaim agency and express vengeance against those who had subjected her to abuse. The song You'll See on her first album was highlighted by Susan as a means of getting her own back on the people who had bullied her. In addition to being bullied in school, Susan was regularly subjected to physical strikes from her father, Patrick Boyle, a former minor who passed away in 1997. In an interview, the Britain's Got Talent singer shared that her father would often unleash his temper on her during her childhood, leading to enduring emotional trauma. Susan admitted that it took a considerable amount of time for her to overcome the lingering effects of the abuse. Acceptance, according to Susan, was a crucial part of the healing process and a mark of maturity. She emphasized the difficulty in doing so, but highlighted the necessity of letting go and replacing those painful memories with a renewed sense of self. 
Susan Boyle comes from a large Catholic family of nine children, where her mother, Bridget, played a crucial role as a quiet, gentle woman. Bridget was not only Susan's mother, but also her fiercest protector, and shared a creative spark with her daughter. At the age of 70, Bridget took up painting, creating beautiful renditions of Mediterranean scenes that now adorned the walls of Susan's living space. Tragically, Bridget passed away just before Susan Boyle gained fame, and Susan strongly connects these two events. Susan made a promise to her mother to accomplish something meaningful in her life, and she believes that her mother, even in spirit, continues to guide and support her. Susan feels a spiritual presence, convinced that her mother's intervention played a role in her success, stating that she was with her all the time. Despite having the means to reside in what she calls the posh house, Susan has chosen to let her niece live there. Instead, she continues to live alone in her mother's council home. In recent years, she's also experienced the loss of a brother and a sister. The unexpected loss of two siblings and parents has left Susan with lingering struggles that she continues to grapple with today. Due to her incredible success, it's difficult to remember that Susan didn't secure victory in the 2009 series of Britain's Got Talent. She finished as the first runner-up, Given the immense expectations and the significant media attention leading up to the finale, Susan found it challenging to cope with not receiving enough public votes. Reports circulated that she expressed frustration by throwing water at the show's floor manager, accompanied by statements like, she hates the show. Later that night, hotel staff in London raised concerns about her peculiar behavior, leading to a police visit. Subsequently, Susan sought recovery at the Priory, a mental health care facility. In 2016, Susan received another health diagnosis. She had type 2 diabetes. It prompted her to give up her only vice, chocolate. The renowned Britain's Got Talent star decided to permanently remove the sweet indulgence from her diet for the sake of her overall health. Managing her condition with prescribed medication, when a global health crisis unfolded, Susan's life became more difficult. Individuals with diabetes were considered more vulnerable to health complications, emphasizing the importance of protective measures. Susan, recognizing the potential risks associated with her condition, took precautions to limit exposure. She stayed indoors as much as possible, emphasizing the serious consequences of contracting an illness. Susan Boyle's accumulated wealth became the catalyst for a profound family rift that unfolded in the past. In 2014, the celebrated singer found herself grappling with the consequences of her success, blaming her fortune for tearing apart the once close bonds within her family. The rift, originating after Susan's meteoric rise to fame on Britain's Got Talent in 2009, led to bitter disputes surrounding her wealth and the newfound spotlight. Two groups emerged within the family, one comprising Jerry, Mary and John, and the other including Briddy, Alan, Joanne, Jacqueline and Kirsty. Tensions escalated when allegations surfaced that Jerry had blackmailed Susan for £50,000. Despite Jerry's denial, the family dynamics continued to strain, causing distress for Susan, who desperately sought to mend the fractured relationships. Susan's attempt to bridge the gaps included financial assistance to family members, funding ventures and providing bailouts. However, these efforts only seemed to intensify the financial tensions and deepen the familial divide. The shared dream of happiness through fame and fortune ultimately gave way to a shattered family, leaving Susan in a state of despair with an uncertain path toward reconciliation. In 2023, Susan surprised fans with a performance on the season 4 finale of Britain's Got Talent. After her captivating appearance, the Scottish singer candidly discussed her health, revealing that she had experienced a stroke in April 2022. Susan expressed her joy at being able to perform and described the moment as extra special due to her recent health change. Simon Cowell, the show's creator and primary judge, commended her bravery and acknowledged that he was aware of her health struggles. She also shared photos from the memorable night on her Instagram account. In her post, Susan recounted the privilege of returning to Britain's Got Talent and performing alongside the cast of Les Miserables. Susan detailed the efforts she had put into her recovery over the past year focusing on regaining her speech and singing abilities, with the ultimate goal of returning to the stage. In her Instagram message, she expressed satisfaction that her hard work and perseverance had paid off, allowing her to sing the song that marked the beginning of her remarkable journey, I Dreamed a Dream.